adding body game to what you already have makes you dangerous. All right, guys, I'm doing another video back with another video, basically saying why they envy you when you're on body game. You know what I mean? I want you guys to understand this. I want you guys to like really soak in what I'm saying. And what I want you guys to understand is that when you were practicing body game, when you're getting your body together, that is not all that you have to offer as a human, as a person. I want you guys to understand that when you are practicing body game, you are working on body game, you're getting better at body game. You have to understand that you already have things going for yourself. You already have probably one of the best personalities. You already have no skills on knowing how to dress. You already have athletic abilities. You already probably have like tons of friends, a good personality and everything like that. So it's almost like you then become the final boss. You know what I'm saying? You then become at the final stage because it's like, if you notice when you're playing a game or you, you know what I'm saying? You're on a game. It's just like, you got one more level to go up and it's like body game makes you that final boss. You know what I'm saying? Body game makes you become that legendary, that legendary, um, a legendary person because it's just like adding body game to what you already have makes you dangerous adding body game to what whatever you have to you know uh in your life it just makes you that much more difficult to compete with you know what i mean and it's like i believe that well, people envy that because it's just like you make it harder for other people to be chosen you know what i'm saying if you're chosen or you have gifts and everything like that it's just like you are then the shiniest object in the room you know what i mean it's like you really can't blame people for feeling that type of way because if you already have you're really smart or you you have a lot of friends or you have this it's just like and then you have muscles and then you're like masculine it, it becomes too much you know what i'm saying it becomes too much for people and i want you guys to understand that like regardless of how much it is for people you have to keep going you have to keep working on your body you have to keep working on yourself because it's a daily fight and you have to maintain all the work you put in because it's like if you stop you lose all of it but just understand that like when you're dealing with envy of people it's just that you know you're just being yourself you're just doing your thing but you just doing that some people can't do that you know what i'm saying some people can't work out some people can't get the type of physique that you have and then even to what I was saying before, not every shirt fits every guy the same. You know what I mean? Like, not all clothes fit guys the same. And it's like, when I was practicing body game, I started to notice that it was just that I was so used to a shirt feeling, fitting in type way, or I was just used to my body, my clothes, just fitting the type way. And I just kind of took that for granted. I kind of forgot, like, everybody has different body types. But when you're practicing body game, it's just like, it's just normal for things to fit. Like, it's just normal for you to be able to, get in certain sizes and everything like that. And it feels good. You know what I'm saying? You take that simple feeling away. It, it does something to your psyche. It does something to your self-esteem. But I want you guys to understand is like not everybody has that same type feeling of you putting on a shirt easily or you being able to find your size all the time. And some people will envy you for that. Some people will really envy and like hate you for it because, you know what I'm saying? This is some people, some, sometimes these are like prayers. Like you're li you're living in a prayer of somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Whatever somebody else is asking for, you may be living that fantasy already. You might be living that prayer already. And that's why I want you guys to be humble and everything, but also understand, like, don't take it personally when somebody is coming at you or don't take it personally when things aren't really going your way or don't take it personally when uh, you may want something else, you know what I'm saying? You're practicing body game. You might want something else, like a new car or whatever like that, or new this, new that, new apartment. But you have to understand, you have to take accountability of your gifts you already have. You have to take responsibility for the things that you already have, the body you already have, because health is wealth also. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you become the final boss because guess what? You may be smart. You know what I'm saying? You may have all the friends. You may have like all the girls and then you work out and then guess what? You live longer when you practice body game. You then become, <laughs> you live that much longer. You become, become that much stronger. And it's almost like, people are like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? What else you, what else can you do? What else don't you do? But make sure you guys subscribe to, I want to tell you, once you guys tell that like in the, in the middle of the video, I want y'all to subscribe to my channel. If you are watching for this long, please subscribe. You feel me? <laughs> Because I've been doing all types of channels, whatever, like that. I need to remember to tell you all that. But, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on, like, like the video if you do like the video, if you are watching for this long, because I appreciate it. But, um, but yeah, back to, like, people envying you. 
just don't take it personally, man. Like, I want you guys to not be so emotional when people may try to go after the same girl that you like. People may try to get the same position that you got. It's just like, as men, we are in a competitive headspace. And it's like, now that I get older, I understand that, like, that's just what we do. That's just what, as men, we do. You know what I'm saying? We have, some men have morals, some men don't. Um, but some men's lives are a lot harder than your life. You know what I'm saying? Some men's lives are extremely, extremely difficult. And it's sometimes it's been generations and generations like that. So you by just having a nice body or having a girl that they want, it's just like they just want to experience that. You know what I'm saying? They just want to experience that type of lifestyle. And it's like you kind of take things for granted the longer you live in a certain situation or a certain privilege or have body game privilege. It's just like a lot of people are not living that type world. A lot of people are not having that type of success. And people will want that. People will want to be in that type of environment. They will want those types of, you know, uh, incentives and everything like that. And it's just like you cannot blame them because body game is a long lifetime lifestyle. But it takes work. You know what I'm saying? You just didn't. A lot of times it just doesn't want to fall in your lap like that. You have to maintain it. But body game is not easy, man. I want you all to understand. It's like, yeah, people interview, you. But, like, what you're doing is not common you know what I'm saying it's not going to be easy it's not going to be an easy road it's like people are going to love you for it people are going to hate you for it but it's like you have to understand at the end of the day you're doing it for you but you're also setting an example you're setting an influence you're gaining an influence to where it's like okay now people are looking into their daily lives and trying to figure out how they can implement body game because if they think about you know if I have this body maybe I may be able to get this job maybe I may be able to get this girl Maybe I might be confident. Maybe I may be able to approach more people. And it's just like, you don't think about it, but just looking at somebody, a lot of those thoughts are going through people's heads. Mind you, you haven't even talked to them. You don't know who that person is, but you're setting an example of like, hey, maybe this is something you should work on. You know what I'm saying? This is something I do and it's working out for me. So it's probably going to work out for you. You know what I mean? And then also too, with, uh, I was talking about the different types of ages and everything like that. You have to understand too, if you're younger practicing body game, your 20s are going to be better. Like, understand that the 20s are, like, the most youthful, best times of your life. But it's like, if you're practicing body game, your 20s are going to be that much better. <laughs> and people are going to envy the hell out of that. Like, if you are 20 and you're on your, your grind and you're progressing and your 20s are, like, then your life becomes easier at 30s and in 40s. And it's like, you then stack on more skills. So it's like, the earlier you learn that and the more you work towards that, the better your life will be and more people are going to see that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, think about it. If you have certain accolades at a younger age that people are fighting every day to attain, you're going to feel away. You know what I'm saying? Or if you're being promoted and you're younger and somebody has been at a job a lot longer than you have, you're going to feel away. Like that's just for anybody. And I just want you guys to understand. Yes, you have. Yes, yes, you have talents. But when people say that and you hear that in the Bible, you hear it in different conversations and everything like that. When you have gifts, those gifts really do make a path for you. Those gifts really do make your life easier. And people see that. People, it's not even necessarily a privilege. It's just like they see your life, they see your lifestyle, and they see your generations of where you come from and everything. Or even if you need to change it, the generations of what, how people think and everything like that. People can see how different you are compared to other people. Whether it be like things you say, how your body looks, and then how you carry yourself. So I want you guys to be cognizant of that and understand that you know what I'm saying you are not the only person in the world you know what I'm saying you are not the only entity other people can see things that you can't see you know what I'm saying so I definitely want to make videos on that just like with partnerships and like working with people relationships and how relationships are meant to help and you don't want somebody who envies you who are like if you're in a relationship with them but that's like another video but I just wanted to tell you guys about that I feel like you guys need to hear that so thanks so much for watching thanks so much for listening and I'll see you in my next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. <laughs>